Clive Palmer launched defamation action against the Premier over comments in 2020 during WA's hard border lockdown that he represented a threat to the state. Mark McGowan then lodged his own action, saying Mr Palmer had accused him of lying. For a politician to complain about the press is like a ship's captain complaining about the sea. As these proceedings demonstrate, a politician litigating over the barbs of a political adversary might be considered a similarly futile exercise. Justice Lee said both men had chosen to be part of the hurly-burly of political life. First, the COVID-19 pandemic and the controversy as to the Western Australian hard border. And secondly, the enactment of the Iron Ore Processing Mineralogy Proprietary Limited Agreement Amendment Act 2020. Justice Lee described Mr Palmer's evidence as fantastic and said he was an evasive witness. Mr McGowan was generally impressive and candid, although he skirted the question on whether he acted on the Chief Health Officer's advice on the hard border. The Premier was awarded $20,000 in damages and Mr Palmer $5,000, but Justice Lee suggested the case was a waste of court resources. These proceedings have not only involved considerable expenditure by Mr Palmer and the taxpayers of Western Australia, but have also consumed considerable resources of the Commonwealth and, importantly, diverted court time from resolving controversies of real importance. The Premier says he accepts the judgment. To be clear, Clive Palmer took action against the state of Western Australia and then he sued me. The court action was started by Mr Palmer, not by West Australians and not by me. Justice Lee had described the evidence of Attorney General John Quigley as all over the shop. But today he said that while Mr Quigley was not a reliable historian of events and his evidence was confusing, it was not dishonest. The Liberal leader has called the case an insult to taxpayers, while the Nationals leader has called on Mr Quigley to resign. But the Premier has backed his Attorney General to stay in the job. Costs will be argued in court later this month. David Webber, ABC News.